Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. That's the part two of the Sog Tomahawk video. That's just how I altered them. I got me number three of them. That was shown in a in the first video of this series and the other two that are here I had for quite a while now and tested it out. Customized it. Uh, for you, if you like tomahawks or not, that is something personal to test out. If I can select a machete over a tomahawk, I'm gonna do that. That's just my personal preference, the way how I use the tool. And it's still nice to have that in the collection. Those are not collectibles, those are tools for be used and if the purpose is right then this tool for sure comes in handy so we're gonna talk a bit about how to alter it it's a uh, pretty simple as we look on that one that is still in the process I did drill out the hole that it fits really well for paracord uh, with swinging tools you would like to have a hole for a, for a cord for a lanyard 100% that comes in handy also such a hole would help if you wanna wanna hook it up somewhere on the wall and all that so that hole originally was a bit too small so I drilled it out I rounded off the, the end here a bit did the horn where the molding line was then we got a primer on it then the truck bed spray which gives you a slight texturing on it and then black mat. Uh, the screws got checked too and loctited. Uh, sometimes they are a bit on the loose side. It's made and assembled in China so you need to check that. And the head all over got black mat as well. Uh, this finish, the, the matte black of course gonna wear off as you use it. Uh, the good thing is uh, below is still that hard case black finish on uh, most of the, the metal parts and you can easily clean it up and spray it black matte again and then you have it like new that's how I do again those are tools for be used and not for collection then the handle will get wrapped this time in a different color quite likely a bit uh, a chocolate brown I like a bit different colors that we see which one it is again in case something uh, fail or is not too well you want to have either a number on it or uh, a color that you know like the the sand the coyote brown one did have a problem so you use the green or the chocolate brown one so that not everything looks the same uh, from the wrap that is a simple wrap all around just around uh, gives you a bit of a bigger feel in the hand that is good for my big hands also there is not much to worry about that a knotting or something needed to be really really straight it's simply a wrap around it and finish it's also easy to remove again uh, paracord or cord in general is like duct tape you can never have enough of it with you handy in case something is in need to fix in a survival situation or just just there uh, for general life so cord and duct tape that is for sure something that may not work for the rest of the life but at least get you going for quite a while so I'm glad to have a bit spare cord that's quite a quite a bit on the handle can't tell you how much it is I simply did uh, did uh, start at one end and stop towards the other end of course you could do the wrap all the way up if you want the whole the whole length that would be possibility too uh, that's entirely up to you also the color of the the paracord so there is so many variants now out there that are easy to get that it is no problem to to select a more a camouflage darker color or more a bright color uh, 
orange, a neon orange or a neon green, uh, that and everything in between, even glow in the dark, everything they make now. It's really like paradise in USA, you have it all. If it's not available, quite likely it's not made on the planet. About the sheet, a uh, sheet is a uh, simple to alter just a bit black matte paint on the spots that were shiny. First you flame it a bit off where the fraying is still there. Again those are minimal sheets. Uh, it's not the best at all. At least it has some grommets that you can use a bit paracord to leash it to like the backpack or something like that. And uh, one day I'm gonna do make some of the kydex variation for those three if i find the time but for now that is that is well again i mainly use the machete and not the tomahawk so that has that project here has no priority really bad so that much a bit uh, update how you can customize the sock tomahawk with all the different paint that is out there, different paracord colors, uh, different style of wrapping that is easy to personalize. Uh, that's another another matter uh, like this, exactly like this, quite likely there are no others out there. So I would recognize my one anytime. That much about the Sog Tomahawk modifications.